Hey everyone, Ajee Berserker back with the art. Uh, we're doing something. Um, something I might do monthly-ish, I guess. We'll see. Uh, it's not gonna be like total habit. I don't know. We'll see about that, but... Uh, yo, yo. Scrawler box. <laughs> I actually have a subscription to it. I have not opened this. I do not know what is inside this. I don't know which month this is. I don't know if it's last month or this month, because it comes from the UK. And what happens, happens. So, we're gonna have a look-see doodle and see what is inside the box. Okay, so uh, let's check it out. You open her up, and you get all this stuff. So this is your art supplies. You got a little zine thingy. You got a sample art print. Uh, I guess this is done by an Ar Arlisha Yetzler. Um, hmm, that's pretty cool. And, oh, this is, I guess, the first art supply then we'll show is the paper. Watercolor paper. Oh, uh, ooh, let's see what type of watercolor paper this is. Because watercolors a lot. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say if it's cold press or hot press, but it is an HP. Oh, wait, hot press. Ah, HP. Got it. A5 size. That's pretty cool. And, uh, yo, like, uh, I'll just show the zine here. Uh, mm, I don't know what's gonna be inside this box. I'm actually kind of excited. I love watercolors <laughs> All right, well, let's check her out. I Will actually put this to the side and I'll pull them up for everyone and Of course scholar box I guess does come with a little snicky snack uh, Be rude for me to shove that in my mouth right now. I think that's watermelon flavor by the judging of that uh, Let's see. Let's see. Um, oh Ooh, okay. Needable eraser. I already have one right now, but this will be good. It's a Brunzeal. Um, I've been using, I got a set actually of the uh, watercolor markers of theirs. I love them. I finally kind of figured out how to use them. So there'll be a video on that eventually. Okay. Uh, this has like prompts on it, but I'm, I'm mm, flowing figures. I might actually, I might do something. Of course it comes with a little sticker. And let's see. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, Pentel uh, mechanical pencil. The side effects. I don't usually use mechanical pencils, but I'm willing to give this one a shot. We'll check it out. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Got a uh, Scholar Box branded uh, watercolor brush. Whoops. Has a little pointies. So that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I have- Okay, yo, 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 okay. Okay, I've ne- Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Watercolor sheets, I've never used these before. We're gonna have to definitely, uh, swatch the f*** out of these. Oh my gosh, I'd never used these watercolor sheets before. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god, this is gonna last for freaking ever. Okay, 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 we got our supplies. We're gonna regroup and uh, we're gonna test shit out before we go ahead with anything. Oh, I'm, oh my god, I'm excited for the watercolor. She, oh my god, ah, okay, uh, yo, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so watch time, baby. Let's freaking do this. So I guess we'll just start off with the pencil. How do I use this pencil? Hold on. Oh, it's a side clicker. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a swatch on the stock that they gave me. That's actually important to do with your stuff. So, uh, yo, so it's, this is the uh, pen tell side FX. So, here's your a little mechanical pencil. This is actually, I actually like this point. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, like that. We do got our needable eraser. Um, I actually don't want to open this only because I want to keep it fresh because I already have a needable eraser on the go. <laughs> so, uh, yo, but, so in that case, I'll be using this blob right here. <laughs> this beautiful blob. <laughs> and uh, next on is we're going to check out the brush, but also these swatches. I'm not sure how to do this because they usually these are put together in a book. Okay. Oh, I see. So uh, they have the different colors. So this is like neutral tint. Um, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Okay, we're gonna have to do this the hard way, which is fine because sometimes it's what you gotta do. 
Yo ho! Uh, now I know the biggest issue with this, the way these are set up, is they're not in a booklet. So I don't have the little things to kind of prevent them from getting like wet and that. So you're gonna have to wait till they're like fully dry. Uh, but we're gonna check out each color. So this is neutral tint. Oh, this is weird. I've never actually used one of these like paint books before. Okay, so that's a that's a color. Okay, that's a beautiful color. All right, the next color is called uh, Bismarck Brown. We're going to Brown Town. These sheets are gonna last for freaking ever. Just gonna throw some in the palette just so I don't use up too much. Oh, oh, that's a nice. We're going to Brown Town. Okay. Next color is uh. Gambo yellow? It's crazy to look at that color though. That does not look like yellow at all. <laughs> all right, so I guess we'll play around with these this way. I might have to just cut some tracing paper or something just to kind of like, you know. Oh, that's a whopper. Yeah, that's a whopper yellow. Holy shit. <laughs> and I should also mention I am not sponsored. I did not get this for free. Uh, this is actually a box I bought on my own. <laughs> and this one's called Ekru. So we're getting a lot of like uh, naturals. Look at that. It looks, doesn't even look yellow, right? So I'm always fascinated by these like little palette things, you know? Oh, oh, it's like a dual tint. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're getting some very earthy tones happening right now. That's pretty cool. All right. Okay, let's see. Heliotrope. The uh, heliotrope. That's what that's called. It's me. Lovely purple. These are some whopper colors. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's yeah. Oh my gosh. I love this purple. I love purple. Um, purple is one of my favorite colors. This brush is actually really nice too, I might add. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right, oh, mountain green. Oh, these are like kind of like a, oops, my hand was wet. <laughs> these are kind of like a, I think they're having kind of like a dual tone shade almost, which is kind of cool seeing. So like it has a little bit of black in it, but then you get kind of like, yeah, that's, oh, that's neat, okay. Okay, I'm kind of understanding what these ones particularly are, so that's kind of cool. This one is Peacock Blue. That's well, kind of cool that it has kind of like the swatch there to kind of show you. It's almost like a distressed color. Oh. Oh, and then they dry. Look at them, how they're drying too, you know? Like, holy shit. Okay. Okay. Wow. These are, these are nice. <laughs> I'm so far really liking these. Okay. Okay, so turquoise blue is next. Oh, look at this. Okay, I always find this interesting on these, how they reflect like a different color completely. That's so, that's crazy. That's crazy. God, I hope I'm getting all this. <laughs> all right, let's see how this looks. Woo, that's a nice color. Oh, I'm getting hyped for colors, y'all. Oh my God. Let's get hype for colors <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> let me set you over there a little friend okay and this one's gonna be alice blue okay and something happened there where it's just kind of streaked across but i'm feeling this is gonna just last a long time anyways Ooh, this is like a nice lighter blue oh, that's nice i am digging these palettes quite a bit I'm digging these a lot. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Oh, we're getting into some reds though, y'all. All right, so we got a uh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, Bob Ross, don't be ashamed of me. Azil, az Alizarine Red. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. These colors are beaut. Okay, let's see how this is. <sighs> Oh, I love these colors a lot. Oh my God, guys, art, <laughs> love art. <laughs> oh, Jackamot Red, look at that. And then this is just like shiny green, baby. 
Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, I put too much water on that. <laughs> oh, dear. Ooh. Oh, that's like more pinky. I like that. I like that. I'll put you right there so you can just kind of sit there and dry, my friend. <laughs> and the final color is Arlie's Opera. I think it's going to be like an opera pink of some sort. And you can see you can't really tell what the color is until you activate it. So it's actually quite important that you uh, swatch this stuff. He's going to be like, I oh, yeah. That's, that's a nice... Hold on. Let's get a little more of that on there. Yeah, that's, these are colors are whopper, y'all. This is a nice box. I always wanted to work with these, so, uh, yo, we're going to think of something. Okay, so the prompt is called Flowing Figures. So I might have an idea for this, so we'll see, and we'll go from there, and yeah. So voiceover edgy back now as I start off with the sketching phase. Um, I have to say the pencil itself is actually quite nice that they gave. It does feel nice and heavy even though it's like made out of plastic which uh, I know weight is a big thing for people with uh, with mechanical pencils. So I gotta say it was a good balance. It was a good balance. Um, yeah, it was a nice pencil. I also later learned that the eraser on it is like twisty top and that's pretty neat as well. So no, uh, the idea was uh, flowing figures. And of course, uh, around this time, I also saw the uh, Street Fighter 6 announcement. So of course, uh, flowing figure, Chun-Li. Chun-Li's all flowy and stuff in the actual game, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's when I discovered the Little racer, which is pretty cool. So yeah, yike. Street Fighter 6 announcement. And even then, now the Guile's announcement happened too, since I've done this voiceover as well. And we might see even more um, announcements, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited for the game. It looks pretty neat. Um, I like the uh, changes that they've done with it, the extra flair. Also, it feels like they're not doing the um, usual like corporate Capcom thing, where it's like, well, can we do this? It'll cost us money and yada yada. But no, they're actually trying some fun stuff. I am really looking forward though to like a lot of the new fighters that will be eventually coming out as well, which is kind of neat. So you know, we're we're yeah, I'm being fed very well <laughs> with content-wise on stuff. So I'm excited to see what uh well basically what 2023 brings for uh games that I like because we also got the Final Fantasy stuff coming out and we got this and more Final Fantasy so much stuff like so much Final Fantasy I hack even the Persona collections coming out which also has been confirmed for PS5 uh, I believe oh and here's our sketch though that's kind of our rough idea I usually like to sketch out a lot but here is where I do a transfer because I don't have a light thing and uh, yeah, you just sometimes you just got a color on the back of your paper. And then you, there's your sheet there. Tape that shit down. And uh, yeah, you just uh, go in, then just go over. Funny enough though, I did not have a uh, <laughs> like a regular like ballpoint pen to uh, do this. So it's like, oh no, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I just pressed hard with the pencil and went with that. <laughs> it worked out though it worked out I'd say it's funny though because you won't actually see like uh, the actual transfer until like maybe when I start like uh, you know fixing it up a little more like tweaking it but yeah like yeah you can kind of see it you can kind of see it so yeah I just you get your transfer and then you can also just kind of fix things up on the way I am using a Colerase uh, Prismacolor pencil um, of course, then I found out that I bought the local art store I go to because now there's only really one to go to. I don't count Michael's. Um, <laughs> and they actually sell them singly. So I didn't actually need to buy a pack off of Amazon. I'm like, oh, that's fine, though. Because then at least I got different colors. And plus, I gave some away to, like, friends and family. This is where I actually start testing out, like, the watercolors. I have to say, the watercolors go nice, but there is a spot on there that you can kind of see that's like a mismatched color. I'll be talking about this in the actual voiceover at the end, but there, there's a flaking issue on these. 
Like, I know some of these types of papers do, like, watercolor papers do come in, like, booklets, but then they have the vellum in between. And that usually prevents, like, the transfer in that. But these ones did flake quite a bit. I did, there's a few instances where I run into an issue with it. But, like, overall, though, these are nice watercolors. Um, I really do, like, the colors are very vibrant. Like, I swear, I think my videotaping did not do any justice for the vibrancy. Uh, but those who are a part of the Patreon will get, like, the high-res scan. And then eventually I'll release, like, the low-res watermarked version. So, uh, yeah, like, but as you can see, these colors do, like, even though I'm just using an iPhone 11 Max to record. Like, I'm literally just using my cell phone for this because, uh, you know, I'm just starting and all that. But it does work for what I need, which is great. These colors are very vibrant. They do work very well. Um, I am a bit of, uh, like, uh, out of watercolors that I've used, I've used more of the high-end stuff, like uh, Holbein and the Daniel Smith. Keep in mind, I buy these when they go on sale and the local art stores. Hit up your local art stores. You'd be surprised. A lot of them do price match. A lot of them also get more frequent sales in, say, places like Michael's and that. So, heads up on that. That's Edgy Berserker Pro Tip. <laughs> So as you can see, I just erased some of the lines there, and I'm just kind of adding some details. Hindsight, I probably should have done the yellow last, but eh. And of course, uh, what you don't know is uh, usually when I'm uh, working on something, uh, I do listen to stuff. I was actually listening to some of my riff tracks that I had. Um, it was the Double Dragon episode that they did. And then, and then I got into Death Promise as well, which is one of my favorites. I even, like, I unironically enjoy the movie Death Promise on its own. <laughs> it's a, it's an, uh, I think it's excellent, and I think more people should watch it. I did break out, though, my uh, fine watercolor brush because uh, the one that they provided was not going to cut it when it came to details, though, as you can see. Because I'm like, I need some lining. <laughs> so... Yeah, you know, it's a, just a Princeton fine brush. Um, again, bought on sale because I buy everything on sale. That one I actually got uh, when the local Curry's closed. Rest in peace, but thank God you're online and I can do a yearly big purchase or something from you guys. But still, though, I left my city, so it was a bummer. And um, But they had, like, a huge sale, and that's kind of how I got a lot of, like, my like more expensive art supplies which I'll be covering because uh, I did do a vote on Patreon, public vote actually, of uh, what you'd like to see next. And the three options I had was um, do a paint. Oh, wait, I think it was four maybe. Yeah, it was four. Do a painting, uh, three marker challenge, dollar store challenge, and um, it was, what was the other one? Um, it was watercolor pencils. So I had a vote and it's a three-way tie anyways. So I'm gonna just kind of, you know, go from there. Um, another thing I'm gonna probably do is you might actually see a second video out this month. I'm gonna do more smaller things um, as like an extra video. So I, you know what, I, I do, I have enough time actually that I'm like, okay, I can maybe do these like once a month. But hey, also this is like the first like unboxing video I did too. So, how do you feel about these? Do you want me to continue doing these? Ooh, this is when I got, like, funky, but then I kind of got a little too carried away. And also, yellow flaked onto my thing. That's why there's yellow in the background. This is where the flaking issue became a big problem for me. And I did change the water, too, so I'm like, oh, Jesus, what the heck, you know? So, like, as you saw, you got yellow got on there because there was yellow flakes on there from the uh, pages, but I didn't realize it. So I was like, okay, you know what? You know what? Let's just go with it. This is flowing figures. Let's just go with the flow. So I just, you know, instead of, like, freaking out over, like, a minor error thing happening, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's have some fun. But I also ended up uh, outlining in my um, Posca white pen just to add, like, a little, like, have her pop. And then we got the fine details added for her uh, dress as well, because I almost forgot those. I was about to, like, end it at the Posca, and I was like, oh, yeah. 
Gotta add the details, Jerhe. But as you can see, like I only used like maybe a little bit of that corner there. So these things are gonna last a long time. So, and I looked up the pricing for them and they're like $64 Canadian and the uh, box turns into $40 Canadian. So I think I got a deal because I got a pencil and a uh, eraser of the thing. Anyways, current Edgy Berserker is going to tell you more about it. Enjoy the artwork and... All right, so that was the Scrawler box um, exclusive Peerless watercolor palette. I didn't use the eraser because, again, that guy I'm going to save for later. Um, I've been happy with the Bionzeal stuff, though. I probably pronounced that wrong. I apologize. Paintbrush is great. Um, yo, this pencil's awesome. I'm not used to the sad clicking, but that's fine. Uh, these are great. Um, I will say, big flaw with them, though, is how... I just noticed this pasted up. This should have pasted down. Whoops. <laughs> I tried to have this taped up, but I should have actually taped this paper down. It actually doesn't look doesn't look bad on camera, so it's not too bad. Okay. So, um, I guess the biggest flaw with these is like these here. The colors do flake on each other because they don't have the separation and they're just loose. And uh, yo, my hands. <laughs> Look at all that color that just went off on me hands. So yeah, um, other, otherwise though, Whopper color palette. I believe the probably the non-versions, um, like the Scrawler Box versions, probably have like uh, binding and the uh, wax paper in between. I see myself using those a lot because the colors are pretty great. I admit I got a little downright sadistic with the watercolors here on Chun-Li. Uh, but you know what? That's okay because the prompt was flowing figures, as we can see here. And uh, you know what? Uh, after seeing Street Fighter VI trailer, Chun-Li was perfect for it. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my dub over uh, later, but I did use a Posca white pen to outline a bit just to... No, make her pop <laughs> just a little bit and yeah uh, my paper did roll up but that's no big deal <laughs> anyways everyone thanks so much for stopping by watching my uh, scholar box unboxing video again not sponsored I buy this on my own and um, you know what this was actually a pretty good box overall and uh, yeah I hope to see y'all later until then uh, keep drawing enjoy the art Stay creative, all that fun stuff, and I'll see y'all later. Bye now.